So the new code is going to be showcasing all the sub jutsu scrolls. Make sure you guys join my new uh, Discord that I made for the game I'm making on Roblox. That's going to be coming out soon. So click the link in the description where it says my new game's Discord. And they should automatically take you to this page where it has an invite. Click accept invite and it should put you in my new game's Discord group. Also, make sure you guys join my main Discord group. Click the link where where next to where it says Discord group and click accept invite. All right, guys. So the new code is capital B bugs buddy exclamation mark, and it gives you 15 spins, guys. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Sunday Went to one back with another video, and today, guys, I'm going to be showcasing all the sub jutsu scrolls. Yeah, guys, all the sub jutsu scrolls. Um, from 00, 00 update all the way until 0, 062 update. All right, guys. So the first subject to scroll is the feathers, the feather illusion. So what it does, it's a genjutsu move. So what it does is just um puts him into another dimension for about I I I think 30 seconds. Nah, about nah, about like six seconds, not 30 seconds. I'm bugging. All right, guys. The second one is the toad um scroll which spawns a toad guys and attacks your opponent why isn't it letting me spawn it but yeah guys it um attacks your opponent wait that's his toad bruh yo bro don't spawn your toad bro stay stay aside brody okay the third subject to scroll is a mode guys it's the um, eight gates yeah, i believe is it the eight gates bro Okay, yep, it's eight gates. So this is how it looks like, guys. The activation looks sick. So if you click Z, it does a special move, which is the dragon, um, red dragon. It's pretty dope. Um, this is how much damage it does, guys. Look careful. It does a good amount of damage, and you can keep swirling around and attacking them, guys. Fourth. Sub Jutsu is a curse mark, guys, which is a mode. But yeah, the special move is almost like a rocket. It moves you around, and you can just keep rolling around and attacking them over and over, which is pretty dope. And it creates a cr uh, creates a black bubble around them. Um, the fifth scroll is the Seven Heavens. So let me activate it. The activation is almost like the Eight Gates, but yellow is gonna be having yellow orbs around you instead of green. So the special move for this one is like the Pyaku gun move. So it just hits him, which is pretty dope. It does it does a good amount of damage. Um, the sixth scroll is the what's it called slug summoning scroll, which is a healing scroll. So it summons a slug and it heals you, just like in the show. On um, the slug scroll, when they summon it, it usually heals people. So check it out. It heals you and. Yo, somebody come attack me because I have I, I I have max health at the moment. So attack me, bro. Attack me. Hit me, bro. All right. So, oh, you didn't have to do that much damage, bro. You actually killed me. Yo, this dude bugging, bruh. Okay, let me go back to the slug. So it doesn't despawn until your shock runs off. So you could just keep um, regenerating your shock run, and the slug score will still be there. It heals you. Attack me this time. Just hit me, bro. Just hit me. See, he's automatically healing me, guys. Attack me when I'm outside the um, green spot. Attack me right now. Okay, that's it. Now check it out. Heals you. And once your chakra runs out, um, it despawns, which is pretty dope. Um, The seventh scroll is the Toad Sage, I think. No, Sage Mode. This is the Sage Mode. Bruh. Um, so the activation is pretty clean and the special move is really dope guys, but it's really hard to land As you can see It's really how it's really hard to land um The eighth one I believe this is the eighth one four. Yeah, the eighth one is um a snake summoning Um, it summons a snake almost like the toad summoning but it summons a snake and it attacks your opponent so check it out so yeah, it's a, another summoning. Um, the ninth scroll is my favorite, which is the Flying Thunder God. It's a really good scroll. You could combo with it and do all kinds of tricks. Um, 
it's Naruto's that specialty, which um you have to have what's it called the dagger, I believe. Yeah, and then once you have a dagger, just use a move and it throws a dagger and teleports you to your opponent and uses a, a Rasengan, which is pretty dope, guys. Um, the tenth scroll is the Hawk summoning, so um it summons a hawk almost like the toad summoning and the snake summoning but it summons a hawk so that's pretty dope and the um, what's it called the 11th scroll is uh i don't know the name of it the oh, i forgot the name of it i forgot the name of the scroll but i'll get back to you guys when i find out the name i mean joshin yeah joshin all right so check out the activation for joshin so what it does is if you go close to your opponent, it automatically takes the health away. Does it give you health back or does it just does it just take your health? It slows you. Oh, and it slows the person too. So it automatically damages them and slows them, right? And takes health, yeah. That's pretty dope. Thanks for helping me out guys. Shout out to my boy Every and Red for helping me out guys. Appreciate it. Shout out to them. Um, I believe we're up to the 12th scroll, which is the Gara's, um, what's it called? The thing that Gara carries around. What is it called? What is the scroll called? Do you guys know what the scroll's called? Gara Gord, yep. So the activation is pretty clean, guys, and it gives you the gold behind your back. Just like, uh, in the show that, just like how Gara ha has it in the show. And it has sand around you as protection, as a shield, which is pretty dope, guys. And it doesn't have no special move. It's just like when you're in combat, it's pretty dope. Like it's a combat scroll. So yeah, it's pretty dope. Um, the 13th scroll is a healing scroll, almost like the slug summoning, but uh, you don't summon nothing. It just like heals you, but it takes your chakra away. Um, once your chakra runs out, that's it. You have to wait 30 30 second cooldown for you to be able to use it again. The 14th scroll is um the Russian, the Russian one. Um, which what's it called? You spawn like big gates, something like that. I don't even know. What do you spawn, bruh? Wait, give me one second, guys. So there's the Russian. You spawn something, and if it touches your opponent, automatically um takes the health away. You have to be distance. Yeah, you have to be close distance, guys. Like this, this close. And it does a pretty good amount of damage depending how you land it. And the next scroll is a Kasami which is a mode so just like in the show the kasame is uh what's it called like a shark so it's a shark mode guys so check it out pretty clean um if you go to your opponent um it puts them in a water bubble and it takes their chakra away does it damage you what is the code um it doesn't damage them but it takes your chakra away um the next scroll is the paper mode I kind of like the paper mode. I really like the animation and the wings. It looks pretty clean. Um, the special move is pretty OP. So if you go next to your opponent and you click Z, it just attacks them with red flaming bubbles. And it's pretty OP, guys. Um, the next sub so scroll is the Sosano. The Sosano is alright, guys. It would have been doper um, if they added the full Sosano, just half of it. But check it out, guys. Um, you can keep using it over and over by spamming the click button and um, if you run out of chakra just regain your chakra and you could use it over and over guys has no cooldown pretty dope it shoots arrows at your opponent so yeah that's pretty dope guys now I got the Susano glitched on me bruh 2000 years later alright guys the next sub jutsu is uh, Kamai which is pretty dope guys I really like this sub jutsu it puts you in, uh, um, in a Junjutsu, just like the first sub Jutsu. But when you use it, it pulls your opponent in, guys. Oops. <laughs> pulls your opponent in, so check it out. It pulls him in and puts him in another dimension, just like the other scroll. Which is pretty dope, guys. Um, I'm going to show you the Kamai in first person. Can you use it, bro? I believe he has it. Yep. So it puts you in this dimension, guys, which is, which is pretty OP. The next sub jutsu is a jutsu sub, a sub jutsu, which is pretty dope, guys. So what it does, it's 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 a mode sub jutsu. Um, what what just happened? Did you guys see that? Bruh. Okay, so what it does is put the it's just a mode, and once you have it on, 
once you move it put you underground just like the show so your opponent can't see you um until you come up on them and you can attack them so it's a really dope sub jutsu it's like a sneaky sub jutsu you could sneak up on somebody with this sub jutsu which is pretty dope that's why i really like it um but you can't use it when you're not fighting on um ground you have to be fighting on ground it doesn't work when you're fighting on water it has to be on land the next sub jutsu is the ice dragon so it's a move so when you use it just it's an ice dragon move yeah that's it <laughs> um the next one is the hidden mist so once you use it it just puts a mist around your opponent and they can't see nothing um if you guys have it use it they can't see nothing and it takes your health away it blinds them takes the opponent's health away while they're in the cloud i mean the mist the next sub jutsu um is the jinjiriki cloak it's a mode it's pretty op guys the activation looks sick and the special move is pretty op but you gotta be pretty close to your opponent to use the special move so check it out it's a purple rasengan it does a pretty amount of good damage guys a good amount of damage i mean pretty op the last scroll is the Tote scroll which is pretty op guys just like in the show when naruto has sage mode he could throw a Rasengan, a huge Rasengan. Same thing in the game, guys. So check it out. Alright, guys. So this is the special move. A giant Rasengan. Boom. That's pretty dope. Alright, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like. Share this video with a friend. And most importantly, leave a comment on what video I should do next. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys on the next video.